in camera with your name and height, please. Hi, my name is Lindsay Gross, and I'm five foot four. Awesome. All right, so take your time, and you're reading with Seth. Let me know when you're ready. So, Dawn, you grew up around here. You probably know all about the legend of Blood Lake. I guess I've heard much about it. It's a very sad story. You mind? Sure, okay. Um, long ago, there was a great Indian chief who was loved and adored by his people. His name was Mubar. It's said that Mubar was visited by the Great Spirit in a vision during the last night of the Dark Moon. What the hell's that? What? The moon thing? Part of the lunar cycle lasts about three days before a crescent moon appears. You are such a geek. Some people call it the dark moon, but I call it the dead moon. It's a time for inner dreams and visions, a time for renewal, a time for death. Well, thanks for that. Tell us more, Dawn. So the Great Spirit told Mugwara that he was pleased with the way he and his people had maintained peaceful relations with the land. And as a reward, the Great Spirit gave Mugwara the sacred staff of the spirit, along with the words that would reveal a hoard of gold that lies beneath the waters of the small lake. Gold? But this knowledge came with a price. The secret of the lake and his sacred words dared not to be uttered by anyone until the next dark moon, or horrible curse would be cast upon the land and its people. What did he do? What do you think? The bar accepted the offer. Yes. But as each day passed, it became more and more difficult for him to keep it to himself. So it came to be that he confided in his daughter, Ayana. Pretty name. I had an Indian name before I got kicked out of the scouts. Yeah, Chief Pencil Dick. Watch it, Nick. Hey, just thought, pen, pencil. Seriously, you got kicked out of the scouts? Boys, boys, let her tell the story. Go so, ahead. the day before Maguire would collect his reward, his village was invaded by Texas Rangers. Every man, woman, and child was killed other than the chief and his daughter. Wow. Oh my god, that's horrible. And come to find out, the rangers had been mistakenly dispatched by a lynch mob who all swore this was the tribe that had killed the woman and her baby during a raid at a nearby homestead. Oh shit. Bunch of dead Indians for nothing. That's hardcore. They'll have their revenge. Not when they're dead, Cupcake. What happened with the chief and his, da and his daughter? Mubara was tortured, and Ayana was forced to watch. But it soon became too much for her to bear, so she divulged the secret of the lake in the hope of saving her father's life. I'll bet that didn't work. No, it didn't. The rangers burnt them both alive. Afterwards, the captain went to the lake and uttered the sacred words. What happened? Well, the Great Spirit was so angered by the Texans' ruthlessness and greed, he summoned his most powerful magic and put a curse on the lake. What kind of curse? The captain and his men were banished to the depths of the lake, never to return. He said that the water turned red that day. Blood Lake. Some say that Mugwara still protects the secret of the lake from anyone who dares ripple its waters in the name of greed. Kick ass. So it's a cooler legend than I thought. How much of this do you believe is true? Nobody knows unless they were there.